What's up, y'all? What's up, y'all? It's your boy. Stupid notifications. What's up, y'all? It's your boy, Kenneth Scott. And since I was in the lab filming an outro for my last video, I figured, why not just kick it for a moment and tell you about these bad boys right here? Yes, I am talking about the 5050 Stefan Brandau Pro Balance Frame. This frame was given to me as a gift by the wonderful Lawrence over at Balance Distribution. Uh, it gave me this whole setup with the wheels and bearings and I am so thankful for the industry and in supporting me and allowing me to test and try different products and my reviews are always the same. They are unbiased by that love because I'm here to tell you guys about the product in my full honesty and transparency and that will not be shaded or clouded by gifts. I like to give you that honest review right now about the 5050 balance frames. So hold on tight. If you're not already a part of the fam, do like and subscribe. Do hit the bell for notifications so you know when the next video drops. And with that, let's hit the title and get into this review, y'all. So I'm back. It's another week. I got a dope product that I want to tell you guys about. And I truly, truly, truly want you to know about these balance frames. And yes, 5050 just dropped the Prime Core 2 frame. And I got that going on in my skates right now. But I skated these for a month while I filmed for my Fruit Tech intro edit. Shout out to Fruit Tech Hardware always. Y'all are the ones that support me, allowing me to have quality products under my feet that don't rattle, shake, or roll out. And I do appreciate the care to you put into all your products. Manufacturing is often not thought about, but it's super important to what we do. Speaking of manufacturing, here I have the Stefan Brandau Balance Pro Frame with 50-50-58 wheels. And I think I got some 50-50 ABEC 9 bearings in here too. This setup was my go-to for over a month. I test my products hard before I give you any type of review. So for over a month, I tried this on everything I had. I tried this on my mini. I tried these out on the street, filming for my Fruit Tech intro. One minute, if you haven't checked that edit out, pop it up in the corner so you can peep game on that. It's over here, actually. I've always been always doing that because I'm right-handed. It's hard to do that, but whatever. If you haven't checked that out, it's right up there. That's the link to my Fruit Tech intro, one minute. I love that. It was a challenge to get out and skate street, but I use these frames the whole time. And something that I gotta say first off about these frames is, oh my God, they are solid. You know how Brandau skates, right? All jokes aside about your boy doing roof gaps, if you look at any of his latest edits, your boy's doing like back backslide or back unity to some gap with a mute grab and dropping like eight feet to the ground. And he got a man body. Dude worked out for a long time. Like we thought we lost him to the muscle game and he's back. I'm happy to have him blading, but he got a man body. He be putting it down on these skates and these frames are built for somebody like him. So shout out to all my big boy skaters out there, right? All my dad bod skaters out there. This is a frame that you can trust is bomb proof. Like legit, this thing may be a little on the heavy side. And I'll say that for real. It is a heavier frame. Um, but what you give up in lightweight, you get back in supportive. This ain't going to break on you. You hit a ledge and I think the ledge cries a little bit. I skated these for a minute, like I said, a month. And that's the groove I got. You see that? That's the, I mean, like, that's the biggest, and that's from that Soyal on a marble ledge in my Fruit Tech intro. Like, that's the most I could do repeatedly hitting the hardest substance known to man almost other than a diamond that we can skate, marble. Like, I hit greedy marble over and over again, and that that's the most it could do. And I, I, got, a, I got a 190 pound body, so I'm not light on the skates. These skates are bomb proof. Second, you know I'm going to talk about slide because it's got to slide, right? Do these frames slide? Yes. They slide super well. They are very smooth. It's this like nylon injected plastic thing that, that Lawrence got going on. I'm going to have to do my chemistry lessons on that to understand why that makes this slide so well. But everything that 5050 makes slides like butter. It is like you don't have to worry about it. And that's important to me because I go fast and I don't want to fall. I damn sure don't want to die falling. So falling is <laughs> going fast, staying fast, very important to me. 
these frames slide. Something to note is definitely the H block. It is a tighter split than what's on the balance frames. The balance frames is like almost twice this, I feel like. I know that's impossible, but it's so much wider. This is a narrow H block. So it took me some time getting used to like making sure I was inside the group, especially my front foot on Royales. I kept feeling like I was popping out. It doesn't have the like double chamfer. So a lot of frames, are single chamfer like this. It is just one angle that comes in and that's it. That's your Royale angle. That's what you're getting into in your Nugans. Symmetrics are slightly different in that it's two. It has one angle and then it has a deeper angle. That deeper angle allows you to get locked in while you start to find your spot and wear it in. These don't have that second chamfer and I know Lawrence has spoke to liking it, but he hasn't implemented it in any of his frames yet. And I think that really helps on both sides of your foot, whether it be the outside foot balancing or the inside foot royaling or, or hitting the groove. I missed that in these frames. It took me a little while. It also took me a little while to adjust to the shorter frame height. Man, I'm gonna put a graphic up about it because it's like literally two millimeters difference between my symmetrics and this frame height area. But as soon as I got on these, I felt the increased power transfer. You can see it in my uh, prime first impressions video on the mini ramp. I like immediately felt that I was going faster with every drop in and that has always been true for these frames. Uh, in terms of like grinding, whether that helps or hurts, I missed a lot of tricks early on in the transition because of the slight difference. But once I got used to it, I didn't notice it in terms of grinding. Um, it probably helped me sit down a little lower in my back royales, which I know you're thinking that's impossible because I got beautiful back royales but that's the only way to make them even prettier is to sit down more. So I like when I can sit down more and make them like China-like. Like that's like God level back royales. Sorry, I was just thinking about China doing back royales and just, China, you're the best. Um, <laughs> For real though. So I did like that. Something to note, I don't know how to set slide. I'm bad at it. I know I had a whole video where Eric Garcia taught me how to do it. I've never had confidence doing set slides. I thought these little speed nubbles, these gems right here, these 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 blocks were gonna be the change agent. They weren't. It didn't really help me learn how to set slide any better. Uh, I think in anything, it just made me uh, top side faster and it created like a little pivot on my top sides, which I had a hard time adjusting from. Um, I don't know that I noticed it initially, when, I, when doing my top sides, because you'll notice you can't get completely flush. You've got like a little space there if you're on these um, these walls. But I can't say it hurt me in the grinds, but it didn't help me in the set slide. So I don't know. Maybe it's just additional weight as far as I see it. It wasn't really that necessary. Cool, but not necessary. Um, other pieces on these frames, like I said, they're solid. Single piece construction. All of the hardware is super good. Trust that Lawrence does a good job with these axles. I had no problems getting my wheels in. Tolerances were good for all types of wide wheels, narrow wheels. I threw a bunch of different wheels in here and that was good. On to final thoughts though. Like what are my final thoughts on this frame? Final words because <laughs> that's what we're all here for, to be honest. <laughs> like if you haven't fast forwarded yet, I'm really happy you're here. If you're in the market for a plastic frame, there are a lot of options out there for you. There are ones that are designed for flat, ones that are designed strictly for anti-rocker, different materials, different, I mean, just, you look at the wish frames and it's just different types of configurations. But if you want a standard frame that's good universally, I mean, like it's good for flat, is good for any, you could get the blocks and ride this freestyle. I think there's really only a few options out there that are perfect, especially if you're trying to go bigger wheels. Like these are 58s and I ride 58 and above strictly. Like I don't ride anything smaller than 58. So if you're in the market for a bigger wheel, flat or any rocker setup, I think it really comes down to just a few. And in my mind, you're looking at weight, you're looking at how they slide and you're looking at this groove and how well it protects you from anything, right? I hear a lot about wheel bite. I don't believe in it. But the bigger the groove, the bigger the protection that you have. So I would rate this balanced frame from 5050, the Stefan Brandau model, 
I would rate this an eight and a half, nine out of 10. Um, I don't know that I've ever found a 10 out of 10, so I'll be 100% honest. The only frame I would rate higher than this one is the symmetric plastic frame. It is pricier. You got to pay for shipping to get it from across overseas if you live in the US. That frame for me has a slight advantage because of the groove and the material. I miss that frame. I'm not going to lie. I've been on aluminum frames for a long time. I've been on plastic frames, but I still think about the symmetrics flat plastic frames. And the only frame I've had in a plastic setup that's come anywhere near close to making me forget about that is this one right here. This is easily the second, like I said, it's at eight and a half, nine out of 10. And I don't know that any other frames come close to the durability, the slide, and the variety of setups that you can ride with this frame. So definitely cop these if you're in the market for a plastic frame that's gonna last a long time. Definitely cop these if you're not trying to wait for overseas shipping from Adapt, and definitely cop these because they are awesome. They support a business that understands that we need to be more diverse in how we sponsor and promote skaters. Chroma, 5050, Balanced Distribution does a wonderful job of being inclusive in who they promote with their products. So for those reasons, I say support Lawrence, support 50 Fit Frames. In fact, I'm so sure you're gonna like these. Hit me up in the comments if you wear a large size frame and I'm gonna pick someone random in the comments to send this pair to because I got that much of a groove in this one and these are almost completely perfect. And I will send you, free of charge, this entire ready-to-roll setup the same way that it was gifted to me. I'm going to gift it to one of my subscribers. One of y'all in the comments, please hit me up down below. Let's see how many comments we can get popping off. Who wants to get a pair of 50-50 balance frames and why? Hit me up. I'm going to give these out. So to all of my subscribers out there, if you're not already getting notifications, ring the bell so you know when opportunities like this drop and get me in the comments i'm gonna pick a and get me in the comments because i am going to pick a winner of these frames before the next episode next week and i'll announce it for all of you thank you to lawrence thank you to 50 50 thank you to balance distribution these are dope frames do check them out if you're in the market appreciate you all hashtag it upgrade your gray matter because the day it does matter is too late I should stop saying that because it's not. I'm alive. You could be too. My life is different and it will always be different. I'm just saying if you want to live the same life you've been living, don't hit your head without a helmet on. And if you don't feel safe, cop yourself a new helmet because I think that's important. Go out there. Do what you love because it's fun. Be safe. Appreciate you all. Catch you next episode. Peace. Free giveaways.